Hi everybody. So long time no favorites. I know we skipped last month and I was incredibly busy and so it has been a lot more crazy. I have like literally had to juggle like three or so facials or more at once and that gets crazy. Somebody's in a mask, jump to the next person and so on and so forth. So anyways, that's my life and it has been a little crazy. I haven't been slacking on YouTube, but I have more or less not had a lot of sleep. I do feel quite okay today though, however, because I do get to start my shift this afternoon. <laughs> um, so some of my favorite TV shows that I have been watching this month before I pretty much just say goodbye to the day um, are Sex and the City, all-time favorite, cannot live without the four girls. Sorry, I know the show is old, uh, but it resonates with me because I think I really got into fashion hair and makeup around the time Sex and the City was on. There's a appearance by Kevin Aquan. There is, uh, you know, they talk about the Vogue editor, and uh, of course they don't use the accurate Vogue editor, but that's because it's fiction. It is really kind of fun to just be like, this is what I knew at one point, and um, yeah. So it's a really fun, glamorous show. Also been into watching Threads, which is the project runway for basically teenagers. And I, I really resonate with that show because I remember being that teenager who wanted to go into fashion design. I used to sketch a lot. Uh, I was saving to go to Fitim since I was a kid. I did go to Fitim and I graduated. But so I love watching Threads. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure. Vanderpump Rules has always been guilty pleasure when it's on. Don't ask me why, I know Stassi just basically kills everyone's brain cells to a point, but I can't. I'm sorry. I just, because I think I spent so many of my young 20s, late teen years, actually in that area, LA, West Hollywood, that I enjoy watching that show because I recognize the area. So that's why I think I really like that show. Oh, and last but certainly not least, Intervention. I bartended for so long that I've known so many of those characters that I enjoy watching that show. Isn't it funny that, you know, the shows that I feel like I've lived through are the ones that are most entertaining to me. Ugly Betty used to be extremely entertaining to me for that exact same reason, because like, <laughs> whoa, when I used to work for guests, yeah, that was life. That was life. So, Anyways, <laughs> let's move on into the rest of my favorite. First off, little odds and ends that I've rediscovered is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I put this bad boy away because I know a lot of people were finding that it was constantly getting reformulated and I think I went through about two Better Than Sex Mascaras that I thought were qu quite a bit different and then I went on to try something else. And well, I picked up my third Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and lo and behold, it's different again. And I think this is my favorite addition for this reason. This brush and the best dang on false lashes you'll ever see. I love this stuff. It's way better than the Too Faced Falsies Mascara, or whatever that mascara is called. This is the false lashes um, mascara that is that is Too Faced. Absolutely love. Another rediscovery is the Josie Moran I Love You Too palette. This is, I think, given to me as a Valentine's Day gift not too long ago. And um, I'm wearing it today, actually. And why I like it, it's because it's a compilation of very wearable, very usable, reusable, recreatable neutrals, some cinnamony colors in here, a nice icy pink, a highlight shade, and two gorgeous pops of green, and this beautiful duochrome color. Um, I didn't swatch that very well, but it basically looks like Max Club. And I love the rose gold palette. Oh, I just love it. So yeah, that has been a rediscovery. This is an older palette. Um, I don't purchase anything with lanolin oil anymore. This was a gift to me, um, and so it's in my stash. I still use it. New essential loves would be my Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover from Tarjay. Gotta have this bad boy. I have been using makeup remover wipes for years and never really found one that removed all the makeup. Always found one that managed to burn my eyes. Huh. And I cannot live without this stuff really 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 awesome that is my new love my next new love is the Acure Radical Resurfacer this is basically like a lemon probiotic with chl chlorella so it will basically diminish the damage that you already see on your skin as well as break down production for the future uh, what's really fun about this is it has whorehound in it butterfly bush uh, seed oil Acai berry, 
blackberry, probiotics, lavender, oak moss, rosemary. It's just like, and you can actually feel the little ting sensation of it working, and I've noticed my skin has been a lot pure, purer because of it. It does feel like a very lotion-y version of a serum, but you still need a moisturizer because what a serum does is correct the skin on the top, um, and then it kind of radiates to the surface. It won't actually provide any hydrating properties. It is literally a skincare corrector. So the month of October was the month of Halloween, and I went as Batman, as a woman, if you want to call it that. Had so much fun. Um, I feel my generation got to miss out on Halloween for a very sad reason, anthrax, and basically it killjoyed the entire holiday. Um, and it was really the first Halloween I really got to have the majority of the night off, I would say, uh, because I think as a bartender I missed so many Halloweens. Um, I actually got to pick up from CRC. I love uh, Mary over at CRC, by the way. Um, and I got the Benai correct, uh, character wheel. This is the shade Skeleton, um, or the wheel Skeleton. And I have been loving this white as an eyeshadow base. I originally used it to paint my face for Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. And um, I had a bit of a... What is it? the Tim Burton character, Corpse Bride influence with my contour, but uh, yes, this actually if is a good recycle item. It's only 12 bucks, but if you want to recycle it as cream eyeshadow, it really works. You got a black in there to work with your duochromes, a yellow to work with your golds, and a red to work with your coppers and your browns. As somebody who's doing a lot more pro art, or should I say getting those opportunities, I'm highly trying to evolve my kit to have some very high performance naturals in it. Um, I'm also uh, wanting to add more naturals to my kit because I really feel it is the ultimate cruelty free standard. Um, sometimes when you try to do a little, a little too much research with cruelty free, a lot of it becomes down to marketing claims, and I feel one of the best ways to really uh, stay void of animal tested ingredients is to go for the more natural based ones. Not saying that any commercial brands can't be cruelty free, you just have to stay clear of the ones that have a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of rumors maybe even a lot of marketing propaganda. Uh, anything on PETA I tend to stay clear of. I like Leaping Bunny, that is my standard. Um, but Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Base is one of my favorite pencils. It's silicone free, it's dry, so it does mask the oils in your eyelids. So for those of you who have oily eyelids and you've been watching my videos for some time, I still love the Gabrielle Eye Primer, but I do listen to the comments below and if what I'm recommending isn't working for like what seems to me like 65% or more, I try to find a new recommendation and this definitely, I love this base. It also works to blink up your eyebrows, it also works on the waterline as a, like an, like basically to conceal the redness on the waterline and a, maybe even a concealer pencil. My next favorite goes into skincare and it is the 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream. I love this stuff. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's also a rediscovered product so it could have been in my rediscovered pile but I rediscovered it and boy does this nourish, hydrate. It doesn't have a weird luminescence which I know is not a friend to those of you who may have blue or purple discoloration on the eyes because it gives it this like sort of like cosmetic iridescence you don't want to see necessarily. If such is the case, I definitely want to refer you to my um, bringing out your inner beauty hereditary under eye circles video and there is a way to make that particular purple discoloration work um, by using like salmon -y colored eyeshadows, salmon concealer, um, and it won't necessarily mask the purple but it'll actually make it look like you put on lavender eyeshadow. Of course you won't see that on me in the video because I have more redness discoloration I would say because the eyelids are so thin and hence why people have blue purple veining is because they have blue purple veins and the eyelids are so thin. So it's nothing you can control and it's there's nothing wrong with that but there is a way to make it work and make it beautiful. I get asked a lot, do you love the beauty blender? And the answer is, it's all right. It's all right. It really is just all right. Okay, reason why I really believe 
it's good to have on your kit as a tool um, and not as your ultimate foundation gun basically is because it soaks up so much foundation. So where I recommendation is to spritz a little bit of toner onto your sponge or water. We'll keep a water bottle if you don't want to waste your toner. Uh, dampen it a little bit to help it absorb less. And after you put on your foundation, just finesse it. And um, that will kind of take out any brush line strokes. Maybe you apply it with your hands. And we'll just give it that perfect even canvas look. I don't like to use it as the ultimate applicator because you will lose so much product. But if you're going to buy a beauty blender, I highly recommend the Real Techniques sponge because you have so much shape to it. It's inexpensive and um, I've heard from so many people, you might as well. Next favorite discovery is Plain Jane Beauty. Where have you been all my life and why haven't I tried you before? Why haven't I heard more raves about you? You are amazing. I love the owner. She's so sweet. She said after I'm done reviewing these that she would love to send me more. Very generous, very gracious, very down to earth. Make sure you get your package. Uh, she gave me these and I love how they just seem to optically blend your makeup. I mean, you need nothing else. They're great and I love this as a little concealer brush, face brush. I haven't even really gotten the chance to wear this color but you can see I've played with it because it's such a gorgeous ruby. And I love how hydrating and nourishing this lip gloss is. I have it in Sweet Carl, Coral, 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 and I love it. So my favorite yoga pose is the of the month is Pigeon. It is overall the most relaxing and gets all the little nooks and crannies and curves of your legs and um, as well lets you rest your hips and open them up. Um, so it's also considered like a love pose. Um, anyways, one of my favorite teas to drink as a yogi is what else? Yogi tea. <laughs> One of my favorite flavors for the fall is caramel. I caramel. I'm having such a hard time with my C's and my R's <laughs> today, but I love caramel. Um, I love yogi tea in general. What I like about it, it has all the listing of all the roots, plants, and seeds used in it, so you can really kind of do your research on what is making you feel alive and well, and really just it's a chemist-like creation. It really is, and. What I like about it is that it is naturally flavored to be caramel. There's no sugar additives in here. It is um, organic skull cap leaf, organic nutmeg kernel, organic cinnamon bark, organic ginger root, and basically all these things are supposed to make you feel soothed asleep and ready for a good night's uh, sleep. There's California poppy in here. And it's basically formulated to calm your mind, your body, your soul, and give you a sweet caramel and vanilla flavor. My ultimate favorite tea brand is Yogi. It just is. I love to do, I love that it provides me with, uh, with serenity, research, knowing what I'm putting in my body. I have no issue with taking these little tiny herbs just by themselves and yeah. So anyways, um, I'm sorry if this was not that exciting. I, I like to share everything in my favorites because I feel it's a, ca a capping of the month, you know. And so I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed and I will have a review for Plain Jane coming up. Thank you so much. <laughs>